Boom. I need something to drink. Hello Hootsweeters and Pixel TV fans. Okay, Hootsuite is awesome for many reasons. One of the things I use it for all the time is to pre-schedule an entire month's worth of social media updates for clients by uploading a spreadsheet. In this episode, we'll look at how to prep that spreadsheet, and then next episode, we'll look at how to actually upload it and set it up the right way. Your spreadsheet needs to have three columns. The first is the date, the second is the social media update itself, and the third is the link, assuming you have one for that update. The date needs to be in one of a couple different formats. Obviously, Hootsuite's going to have the most up-to-date info, but as of right now, either of these two formats will work. The time should be in some increment of five, meaning it has to end with a five or a zero, and there can only be one message per social network per time slot. So for example, if you're scheduling tweets to Twitter, you can do that at most once every five minutes. Now the second column is the social media update itself. Again, assuming you're going to post these to Twitter, among other places, here's what I suggest. Obviously, if you have no link, 140 characters is your upper limit. But if you do have a link, I recommend 110 characters as your upper limit. Now, to avoid any possible issues, I also suggest replacing curly quotes and apostrophes with straight quotes and apostrophes. Sometimes the curly ones cause issues, sometimes they don't, so replace them just to be safe. Also, you can't have duplicate messages scheduled. So if you're going to update about the same thing multiple times in a month, you need to change it up slightly each time. Finally, the third column is the actual link you're going to be sharing, the URL, and I always recommend including the HTTP colon slash slash or HTTPS colon slash slash, and that's not slash the guitarist in case you're confused. Hopefully you found that useful. Next time we'll look at the actual uploading of the spreadsheet and how to set up the updates the right way. If you found this useful, subscribe online. You can subscribe at tndesgo.com slash YouTube.